Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It has been a while, but live cards are back in action today with the most popular of them all potentially moving towards another upgrade with Champions League games back today. I want to talk about Road to the Finals for a little bit in today's video and also kind of just cover how the crafting continues on this game. With the content that we had yesterday, what is the best way to grind the menus right now? If you're logging on this game and you're like, Nate, what in the world do I do to get the best chance of packing Galazzo cards and also crafting the big SBCs that are out if you're going for them? I want to talk through that a little bit today and also how you can also log on the game every single day and make a few coins when the market is as dead, as you would maybe say, as it is right now, right? Lazy sale right there. Boom. That's what we're going to be talking about today in the video and everything else that might come on a Tuesday in FC24. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. Let's talk about Monday's content from yesterday. It was a player pick Monday per usual, but of course, it's a Champions League week. So we have UEFA marquee matchups. I'll be honest, a mega pack is a decent pack, but I think this SPC is coming in at about 15,000 coins according to Footbin pricing. I think that's a little expensive, but hey, 15,000 coins for a tradable mega pack, that's a 35,000 coin pack. You're probably going to make your coins back here. Not a bad SPC to do if you want to go ahead and do that, but not, not too much else to say there. Besides that, now let's go to the upgrade packs, the player picks. We have once again the 80 plus player picks that have been re-released. Our, I think that's my favorite player pick. I know some people like the 81 pluses for better weight because it's that one rating higher, but I like the less cards that you turn into an 80 plus player pick. It just makes these go a bit longer. Make sure you're once again doing your daily golds, daily bronzes, silvers, and then daily golds to get your 80 plus player picks done each and every day. I'm doing the exchanges. We are crafting in the menus. And I want to talk about that a little bit later on in the video, how to best kind of efficiently craft the menus with all the upgrades that are out. This is another one that was dropped yesterday, the 83 plus player pick, which we've seen recently, right? It's back again. It's a one of four and it's repeatable five times per day. I haven't been doing as many of these because it just requires a lot more rare golds. But honestly, with how packable the Golasso cards are, especially the little bro icons and heroes, I think it might be worth hitting these for some chances at informs, high rated fodder, and those cards. So we're going to talk about that. We also had a player SBC yesterday, Undere. And guys, this one's basically free. All right, everybody should be doing this SBC regardless of whether you're a Fenerbahce fan or not for the Conference League. It's an 81 rated squad and a team of the week. And team of the weeks are free, right? Basically from the 82 and 83 rated squads that it requires for the 83 plus player pick. So I'm going to call that free because a lot of us and basically all of us can get that fodder for free right now at the moment with the menu grind that there is. So that is a W in my opinion. It's just a free 88 rated card. It's got finesse plus. So boom, there's that. And he's live and upgrading if Fenerbahce were to go far in the conference league. But that is a road to the final card, and that begins, thus begins, the road to the final conversation. There's not a whole lot to talk about from yesterday's content. It was a quiet day. Actually, one quick aside before we get there. EA did post there's going to be a title update. I would imagine this is coming out in the next couple of days. It fixes a stability issue when removing uh, expired items from the transfer targets. I have 100% experienced this myself. Um, I wouldn't say that it was like game breaking or changing for me, but it was annoying. Uh, so they're fixing that. This is a very small update. No gameplay changes at all are a part of this. Some stability issues, placeholder images, right? Some star heads added. But you know how these work, guys. There's always something that gets changed, and it feels like the gameplay is different after they up uh, release one of these updates and update the game. So we'll see. That should be released this week. But that is something that was dropped yesterday that we are at least interested in because of those small tweaks. Let's talk about Road to the Finals. And we're going to talk about this forever because this isn't the biggest thing that's going on right now. But it is something that is important. Guys, who did the Kimmich SBC show of hands? Oh, wait, this is a YouTube video. We don't have show of hands. It's not in person, right? Kimmich SBC. <laughs> I crack myself up sometimes. Kimmich SBC is one that is maintaining the path towards the upgrades. He didn't get all the upgrades that he could have potentially gotten because they did not win their first game of the competition. But they are playing today. Guys, we have big games today. And Kimmich is very, very popular because he was a great SBC when he was released. Still a good card. Ping Pass Plus, Long Ball Pass Plus. I feel like he's fallen out of favor just a little bit. Uh, but I think a lot of people, including myself, are still rooting for his upgrades. And being a Spurs fan, it's even better to root for him today because they're playing Arsenal. Big games, right? Exciting because it's Champions League and it is back. You've got Gabriel Jesus versus Kimmich. You've got Gavardiol versus 
Tony Cruz. It's going to be insane today. Now, here's what I would tell you. Upgrades technically cannot be clinched today. According to the EA website, we are playing for the qualifying to the semifinals. So this is leg one of that, right? So whoever wins today does not get upgraded. It's just moving towards the potential for getting upgraded after the second leg. Now, one thing I will say is all of these cards are still very expensive i know they're down a little bit as is the whole market but the percentage amounts that some of these cards like tony cruz and others are down i don't think it's enough compared to the rest of the market like yeah i know he was three mil but you know like still he's 2.1 million coins right now he's one six that's very low very low for tony cruz for what he has been but even these cards i don't want to own them too much during the current state of the market so if i were you even if Madrid were to win today, this Tony Cruz is probably going to stay around the same price, maybe even drop off a little bit. Um, yes, he's a very rare card. Same thing with Gabriel Jesus and Gavardiol. Whoever you expect to win in these games, if you have these cards, I mean, you're it's treacherous waters with these cards. Like, if there's a loss today that happens, like let's say Arsenal lose, Bayern win, like this card could drop a lot. Again, I know he's dropped a lot already, but he could drop a lot more if it's not looking good going into the second leg. So that's just one thing that I would mention. I think the game's actually at the Emirates today. I think um, Madrid are home as well. Um, yes, they're listed top here. So it's at Arsenal and at Real Madrid. So very interesting games. But that's something I just wanted to mention because I know some of you guys have these cards and uh, some of you are also rooting for these players because you have them untradeable or you did the SBC for Kimmich like a lot of people did. So you are hoping that those upgrades could be getting closer to being realized. That's just one thing I wanted to mention. This is the time of the year where those cards are solely inflated because they are alive. And there's a lot of hype for them because they could upgrade, right? The, the could is there for the upgrades. But really, you just have to be careful because these cards also are invested in it. People have bought these cards when they were first out during the promo and they've held them the whole time, hoping to see them go up. And a lot of them have gone down, but people are still holding these. That's just one thing I will tell you about. Now, let's kind of talk about the daily grind on this game. As I open one of the player picks here that is kind of getting in the way of my store. Um, guys, the daily grind of this game is all about the 80 plus player picks that they dropped yesterday. Getting those done. And then doing your 84 times sevens Because doing the 84 times sevens the lower rated stuff that you get, allows you to do SBCs like this. This is the campaign player pick SBC. Wow, Lauren James. Yesterday, I opened the same player pick. We got Lauren James and we got Geese. Now, I get to take a Lauren James. Her pack weight must be pretty high in this. I will take the 91 rated fodder as an usable card at the same time. Um, but those SBCs are very craftable from the menu grind that is here right now. It doesn't take much effort. I know, you know, the game is in a state that is just not the greatest for a lot of people, but it doesn't take a lot of effort to log on, hit a couple of daily gold upgrades, hit the 80 plus player picks, and then whatever you get out of that, get them into the 84 times sevens. Guys, the 84 times seven is the SBC that unlocks the player SBC grind in this game. Whether you're trying to do just like campaign mix upgrades, the icon player pick, the hero player pick, or if you're like me, where you're trying to craft Dino, where you're trying to craft Ham 9, maybe it's Ribery still, maybe it's one of those other icon SBCs. Whatever you are crafting, this SBC unlocks it. Man, I cannot tell you guys how many of the Lil Bro heroes or icons. I think I've packed Rosicky three or four times. I packed a Little Bro Park G Sung three or four times. They are so packable. Kewl and Robbie Keen as well. They are so packable, especially from this SBC. And basically what that gives you is either a high rated card that you can then go and do one of your big SBCs you're crafting for, right? Like I was able to do both 90 rated squads of Mia Ham. Shout out to Park Ji Sung, little bro. I think I even have one in the club. And I'm going to be able to do another 89 squad here hopefully pretty soon with those specials and other golds that I keep accumulating from that 84 times 7. That SBC is the one that unlocks basically everything. So I would get those done every single day. If you need the team of the weeks, which I feel like I'm not packing team of the weeks as much from the 84 times seven as I did the 83 times 10, make sure you're hitting this 83 plus team league player pick with those 81, two threes and four rated goals that you get from the 80 plus player pick. And that's just the great grind on the menus right now. Like the 84 sevens pay out really, really well. I think that's the key to unlocking a lot of this and getting the higher rated fodder. And with these cards that are in packs being where they are, 
it's very easy to get that high rated fodder. Now, also, I would shout out the exchanges because once again, like I think I just packed a Rosicky recently. I think I just put it into an exchange, but yes, I sent another one to the to the club. Like I put a 90 rated into this exchange, um, but it's honestly, the exchanges are so useful with the player picks being back out and with an 80 plus player pick only requiring six golds. They are so useful for crafting player picks, which, uh, you know what, I'll go open an exchange pack right now. At the same time, opening an exchange pack, you have the chance of packing a promo card, albeit not a great chance, but you have a chance. Brazilian center back here. Okay, I was hoping for Marquinhos. That would have been better for the rating. It looks like we're going to be getting Gabriel 84, which isn't that great from an 89 exchange, but we'll take it. Um, do we have any surprisers back here at the back? Any promos? Hiding in behind, we don't. Wow, okay, that was pretty mid. But at the very least, I have all those player picks that I can go back out. Maybe I pack a Golazo card. Maybe I hit an in for him. Maybe I just hit some middle to high tier fodder. That boom goes back into SBCs. That is why the craftability of the menus is still very, very great at the moment. And it's allowing people, if you want to put in the time to get SBCs like Dino, Mia Ham, or multiple of the icon player picks or the hero player picks done very well easily so all i would say with this is be careful with those coins i had to go buy i uh, basically used two of the cards that i bought they were 91 rated to finish off this for the second 90 rated squad here I used holland and kdb like be careful with the amount of coins that you are spending right now because again the market is just in a place where if you're draining a lot of your coins like ahead of team of the season you don't really want to be doing that because prices are dropping down a lot, which means having more coins becomes even more and more valuable when a lot of the stuff is dropping, but your coin balance is not dropping while the whole market's being devalued. That's huge, right? That is huge because that means you're going to be able to buy bigger and better things and afford bigger and better players for your team and maybe even potential team of the season cards when those are in packs in the next couple of weeks. So that's one thing I will say about the daily ground of this game. Just be careful with your coins. Don't spend too much of them. Now, if you're starting to spend a lot of coins or if you did the Dino and you're like, yo, I had to get it done. I wanted to do this fast. I did spend some coins. I need to make them back. The market's tough, guys. It is very tough at the moment. The sales are just so slow and like this maldini i'm looking at Maldini 350 for maldini is very low he was over 420 430 000 coins yesterday and now he's 350k i picked him up on a bid for 320 000 coins just looking at footbin and finding random cards that are up or down a lot i love the indexes on footbin guys go to the market tab on footbin drop down click on any of these indexes and look for all market movers in this tab here don't just look at the ones that are down because that's going to tell you cards that are down but the index movers on the other side showing you cards that have gone up is going to show you cards that have risen. And if they've gone up a lot in price, that probably means they could do it again. Like take a look at this Mukoko from 58,000 coins to 64K. Right now he's 70,000 coins. Like some of these like ups and downs that you see on the graph, not all those up and downs are great enough to be trading with. But in Kunku, here's a great example. I looked at this card tonight. This card every single day. Look at this. Yesterday, 65K all the way up to 82,000 coins. Basically, anytime you see in Kunku, and I think he did this the last two days, 67K up to 74K. So we went a little bit higher yesterday for sure. But if you get in Kunku under 70,000 coins, which right now he's not, he's 75 under 70k like 66 to 67 for him or below you know if you're looking at his graph that that is a good price for right now for quick flipping on this game and i like the lower tier stuff guys i like the lower tier stuff a lot because those are the cards that are selling more the bigger more expensive cards people are scared of right because of team of the season some cards also got big price range updates yesterday like prins she was not even selling for what was it eighty thousand coins for basically the last couple of weeks that she's been in packs Footbin's not updating, but her price is down a lot. She was down to 54K. The one that you saw on my transfer list, I picked up, I think it was on a snipe at 52. I was just looking like, wow. She's also very cheap for a 94 rated fodder card. But I think this version of Prince had a hunter, sniped it at 52, listed at 62, which is, again, 5,000 coins above her cheapest on the market. That is called lazy listing, but it's with these more recent promo cards, like the icons we have gotten, or maybe some of the foot birthdays as well that I'm trying this with, especially ones that 
have not been updated for a price range in a while, like Closa. I'm kind of getting on bids for Closa here because power shot in Aerial Plus, and he's, you know, he's just down a ton. This guard was, I think, 100,000 coins. He's not worth 100K, right? But I picked up some of him at 35, 36K on bid. Most of them, if not all of them, yeah, all of them have chemistry styles. That is one tip I would give you. If you're going to do some of this lazy listing method, stick to cards that are recent, the last couple of promos, and also stick to cards that have uh, chemistry styles on them because they will sell better with those chem styles equipped because people that are going to go and lazy buy the card anyway are going to pay more um, for the card if it's got the desirable chemistry style on it so it's grindy yes i know that is going to be the way that you're going to have to make coins right now in this game you're going to have to put a little bit of time in put a little bit of effort in because it's um you know it also seems easy once you get going too you could buy a bunch of a card like let's say you bought a bunch of Nkunkus that we were just shouting out uh, in Nkunkus for like 67k let's say you got 10 of them right big investment there you just list those cards up one at a time uh and then they lazy sell during the course of a day so it's like easy but also difficult at the same time because you got to find a card that moves uh, but it's difficult because you're not getting as many sales so that's kind of how you can grind the market right now at least in one way at the moment um watch the golazo cards the golazo cards are fantastic to be flipping team one and team two yesterday some of the team one cards did do well i picked up a park uh g sung just a little bit ago at 409 i thought that was very cheap but yesterday i bought one at 440 and he went all the way to 490, which is where I sold, like right here. He dropped after content, and now he's down even more. Last week, the Galazzo cards from Team 1 did not do very good on Tuesday. So that's my expectation coming into this Tuesday as well, today. But maybe it'll be different. Who knows? These cards are dirt cheap. Like, wow, Desai is disgustingly cheap for 270k. Harry Cool is back under 200,000 coins again. Cordoba, Vidic, like... Every single player in this team seems so, so, so cheap, bro. But I just don't see them rising up a lot. Um, maybe a little bit next week. But guys, we are still coming into a time on this game where there's going to be a lot of news and leaks and information about team of the season. And we're kind of just like waiting for it. We're waiting for some of that news to be put out. We're getting little bits every single day. Yesterday, there was talk of evolutions. And we're going to start diving deep into team of the season. What is it going to do to the market? What has it already done? All that sort of thing here very, very soon. But the more and more news that we get consistently about team of the season, the more and more I still think it's going to impact the market, especially this week. So that is something to kind of watch out for and to look out for. Um, if there's cards that are up, do not be afraid to take the cash. And if, if you're trading actively on this game, uh, quick flip cards is the way that I would go about it. And I wouldn't be buying anything too expensive. Uh, we were looking at Prime R9 yesterday on stream. Uh, he's look at this. He was three four. Now he's three million coins. Crazy man. Take the quick flips. He's two five on PC. Now some of these cards have dropped off so much. You're like Nate, this guy a month ago was seven mil. You now you're telling me he's worth three? Yeah, he might be. This might be near his low. Okay, let's be honest. But I don't want. I don't think I want to buy yet because I still think there's more people that are going to be listing and more undercuts that are going to be had. Um, as we're still probably a week and a half away from team of the season. So we just await a little bit more news, a loading screen about like a pre tots promo or like tots warm up or that sort of thing. I think could be the next thing to incite even more drops and more panic. But it is for sure. For sure, mostly panic on the top tier in this market right now. I still would not be buying too many cards. Being as untradeable as possible is definitely the way to go to save yourself some coins, which ends up feeling like it's making you coins in the longer run um, as Team of the Season is still coming out and the market is just being devalued as we speak. Let's talk about Tuesday, though. Today, Tuesday content. You know what we're going to talk about when it's Tuesday, right? Gamble Tuesday, right? We are going to have ourselves another 88-plus mixed campaign player pick upgrade, I would imagine, today question is will they make it a one of four instead of a one of three if they make this sbc a one of four i also worry they might make it more expensive because it's going to be very op and very good because this sbc was really solid you saw i just packed two 91 rated cards back to back days that's great for fodder and then also a lot of 91 rated cards are full meta at this stage of the game where the power curve is at and the promo cards that are in this so uh, that's an sbc to watch out for today those are actually really fun to do and pretty craftable like for me right now all fodder that is 87 and above is going into me a ham but that is 84s fives and sixes maybe the occasional 87 to get that 86 rated squad done but that's okay i'm okay with that because i'm getting 91s that also help me 
do the Mia Hamm SBC because it's very easy to get 85, six sevens, right? And eights when you're especially playing the gameplay, getting champs rewards, doing all the upgrade packs and that stuff. Uh, it's very easy to get that sort of fodder. But uh, the 90s and 91s are very difficult to get. So that's another reason to do that if you're crafting with all the low-tier stuff. That's coming today. Other than that, I don't know, guys. Like, it's still a bit of a question mark right now. Last week, we did have player SBCs every single week. I don't know if they're going to keep dropping, like, the daily road to the finals and stuff like that. Like, we've had the Condogbia. Um, and we had, of course, the Undere. I don't know how many more they are going to do. I doubt there's many. But the player SBCs seem to be slowly rolling in we do have some player of the months to be watching out for towards the end of the week so those would be leaks i'd be watching out for especially prem player of the month it's going to be this friday i think so we'll be watching very closely for who is leaked to be winning that and then of course like i said we're already watching very closely for team of the season leaks news pack code we're kind of on like full lookout for that now 100 percent uh on this game now today's uh foot champs rewards and i gotta be completely honest guys i have squad battle rewards i didn't finish champs i don't know what it is for me right now but the gameplay for champs it was a busy weekend i just i didn't have the motivation to grind it i might go try to gift some wins till i get to the next rank right here rank eight which is woeful but I, there's no way i'm getting even like i don't even want to try to play for six wins i just want to go to sleep after making this video to be completely honest so uh that's kind of where i'm at with the gameplay there's no cup that's going on right now there is rivals and i think rivals might be my next gameplay thing um because yeah rivals rewards they do hit so there's a lot there's a lot more time to play rivals during the week it seems than there is for champs at least for me as kind of how my schedule goes i don't know about you but that's just kind of my schedule so yeah guys every single day i log on to this game we get a couple SBCs of mia ham done and uh that motivates me to get on into craft because the potential of packing a galazzo player and just you know packing these cards with their pack weight being very high it kind of just keeps you like makes me want to keep opening packs because it feels like i have a chance especially when they're higher rated and i can put them into exchanges crafting other SBCs. that's helping my motivation on the menu grind at the moment is how packable those cards are, being completely honest and transparent. That's how I feel in this game. I know it's not team of the season yet. It's getting close. We're going to keep talking about everything related to team of the season because we are getting close, guys. And it's about time we get some more news from EA, some more leaks. Maybe those guys on Twitter will have some leaks here pretty soon. And uh, I'm excited, bro. I'm starting to get very excited for team of the season. It just needs to get here. We're in that limbo stage. It just needs to get here. So we'll break that down as we get the news. But for today, probably a slower Tuesday, maybe a decent day to be trading on the market as there will be rivals demand, people playing games, and some more coins on the market too after people got their foot champs rewards. So we'll see how that affects things and what other types of news and information and Champions League hype today might bring on FC24. If you're excited for the day today and you want to drop into the stream, first of all, drop a thumbs up on the video, but make sure you drop in the stream. That uh, link is down below in the description, the Twitch link. We're streaming every single day. We'll be on for a normal stream today, which is great. A good session, crafting, hit some gameplay, all the good stuff. But if you enjoyed today's video too, drop a comment down below who your best Golazo pack pull is, whether you opened it from a 650K or just a random pack. Let me know who you got. And uh, yeah, drop a subscription to the channel if you have not already. I greatly appreciate the support that you guys show watching the videos every single day. Uh, but yeah, hit the sub button so that more people can find us and, and uh, share the love. All right, guys, I'll see you in the stream today. It's been Nate for Count. Catch you guys later. Peace. Out.